So why did we go to Mexico City? I think by the time Thanksgiving rolled around, we'd hosted- No more turkey. We had hosted two Friendsgivings. I'd read, been recipe testing for months. We had had so many photo shoots and we we're like- All the stuff in. We're out. Yeah. yeah. So the theme of the trip was well, food. Yeah. More food and more food. Yeah, nothing but the food. Yeah. So Gabi lined up a food tour so we could explore the city. Well, and also I feel like the best way to see a city, A, is through the food, but B, is sometimes to hire a guide. And it makes it more efficient. Yeah, and I feel like when you hire a guide, I'll link it in my blog post, all their information. Um, they take you to the best places. They obviously live there, so they know what's up. Nothing too touristy. It was pretty, it was pretty good. We had breakfast quesadillas. We had, uh, we went to the market to try all these different kinds of fruits. We had the most incredible El Pastor tacos. The last place we went, what was that taco stand called? Los Cuyo, Los Koyukos or something like that. I'll put it in my blog also. To mm. die for. The ribs. Uh huh. With la coche, squash blossom. Great. What do you think, Gabby? What do we have here? Mm, taco del pastor. Crispy. This is the best thing I've had all day. With lime juice, that's the trick. And two salsas. These are all cornets? Yes. Oh, oh, they fry the garlic with the yes. skin on. Yes. And like these this. are? And these are mm. grasshoppers with garlic and olive oil, chile, lime and salt. Right. Grasshoppers. <laughs> They're not bad. They're a great seasoning. Yeah, not even in. Yeah, it's now one of the most expensive. You need a lot to make a spread like a butter. So good. <laughs> pastry. Gavi was all about this oh. guava pastry. And on the way there... Um, Alright, so day two, Mexico City. <laughs> I got my coffee and we we're on our way to a bakery, but Gavi had mentioned. We're gonna pass the, the Jenny Street quesadillas, which are supposedly stuff amazing. And we had breakfast quesadillas to start the day yesterday, so... Might as well make it two days in a row. It's now a tradition. That was my favorite street food of the, the trip. The quesadillas? Yeah. I like the so quesadillas because they're tortillas. A, they're blue corn, but they're a little thicker. And then we filled it with cheese and squash blossoms. We like coche, like all the different traditional fillings. And the salsas are just on point. The salsas in Mexico City are next level. We have to Super upgrade critical. all the salsas on what's got to be cooking. story behind this. I have no idea, but everyone says the guava roll is life-changing. I love guava juice. So guava croissant? Kind of. You like my pronunciation? Okay. Yeah, you're so friend. I don't know how I want to attack this. Like a hamburger. <laughs> Thomas style. Oh my god, it reminds me of childhood. You had these as a kid? No, but we drank guava juice as a kid. That was really good. We had a double breakfast of guava rolls and quesadillas. And, quesadillas. and then we cruised around the uh, Roma. Roma district. Yeah. And then we went had to get coffee. your red and green fish. Yeah, so one of my good friends, Lily, um, had been to Contramar years ago, and I have been like- Contramar is a restaurant. 
I've been obsessing over it ever since. It's in Roma. Yeah. Um, and they do fish too. Like it's a big fish and they do half of it with green sauce and half of it with red sauce. The whole restaurant's fish focused, by the way. So like anything you get there with fish is going to be the tostada a that we got? The tuna tostada. Tuna tostada. So it was actually my second favorite thing we ate in Mexico City. Um, when we got to Mexico City, a ton of people had DM'd me and being like, are you going to Pujol? Are you going to Pujol? And I was like, no, we didn't get reservations. We, we tried. Um, and this one woman messaged me and she was like, okay, like just like give me an hour, eight hours or something like that. And she's like, I got you into Pujol. So we went, which Thank was you. very exciting to Thomas because you really wanted to go. It's basically like my first tasting menu. Your first Michelin star yeah. restaurant. Yeah. It was delicious. It was really good. Like, I think my favorite thing was that, uh, like that mushroom coated avocado situation. Do you remember that? That was good. Mole was like, the mole is what they're known for. Yeah. And like super, it's, super rich, really delicious. They'd have a mole that's like 900 days old and then also in that mole is the mole made that day. So you can taste the difference between what it is if you make fresh mole or what it is if you have a, like a, a mother mole. Exactly. Um, you like tasting menus. It's it, Go for lunch though because it's so much food. Yeah. If you go for dinner, you'll be so full. You'll be uncomfortable when you go to bed. Yeah. All done. I'm so full. So where do we stay? Um, so if you remember in Napa, we stayed at this uh, at this restaurant at this hotel called Las Alcobas, and it was so special. And they have another property down in Mexico City. I think those are the those only, only two, two properties, properties they own. Um, but we stayed there. It was in the Polanco district, which honestly is like Beverly Hills. It's like Rodeo Drive. It's so safe. The hotel's right there. You can walk to all these different restaurants and bars, There's parks, and it's really cool we yeah. had this corner room with like these huge windows they had very comfy robes they gave us fresh chocolate chip cookies every day So basically the moral of the story is when you go to Mexico City, eat all the food. I mean, are we going to be honest? Yeah. We got a little sick at the end. We got a little sick. We both did. Honestly, it was the true sense of a taco cleanse. <laughs> but the good news is I came home like five pounds lighter and I ate all the tacos. So it's like a win-win. I think it was from a cocktail. It was cocktail. just a true experience of Mexico. <laughs> but... I, a lot of DMs, let's answer some questions I got over and over again. Did we feel safe? Yes. 100% of the time. Did we eat all the street food? Yes, I actually do not think that's how we got sick. I think it was ice in a cocktail. And C, everything is incredibly cheap and everyone is really nice. Like, yeah. could it be nicer? In the Gobby's Guide on the blog, I'll put the, uh, the tour guide and all the hotel information because those are two things that made our trip so special. So look into them if you want to go. You'll have the best time. Okay, that's a wrap. Oh, we timed that nice. <laughs>